So a lot of people ask me about my typical day. So I'm going to run through what it's like from the morning right till the evening. But first, if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and like. So I wake up in the morning about 7.30, 7.45. And the first thing I do is grab my phone, but I don't look at it because I want to be in control of my day. I don't want my phone or device telling me the things I need to do or the emails I need to reply to. So I'll try and think first what I need to get done today and try and remember it in my head so I'm in control of it. Then I'll get ready, work out for about half an hour, 45 minutes, usually three, four times a week. And then one of the most important things is a big, big breakfast. I'll have eggs, avocado, mushrooms, toast. Breakfast like a king, as they say. It really sets you up for the day. So then I'll have my vitamins, of course, well man to keep me going, give me the energy. In the morning, I usually have my non vitabiotics meetings. So that means I'll do stuff like my property real estate investments, Dragon's Den investments, any other business really for meetings in town. And then I'll head to the office about 10.30. So in my office, I have an open door policy, which means people can come in, ask me questions, deal with bits and pieces. It does get a bit distracting, but I feel it works better and keeps the communication going. I'll then work through the day, my emails, um, projects that I need to work on. I'm working multiple projects at the same time, so I'll devote a little bit of time on each. Midday, uh, I make sure I have my coffee, cappuccino. Towards the end of the day, about five, six o'clock, I get a bit peckish, so I wanna have something healthy with some yogurt, fruit, um, some healthy snacks, uh, and then maybe a, a well man energy to keep me going on that as well. It's a, an effervescent, you drop in water, and you drink. Towards 6 and 8.30, I usually try and do stuff that's more strategic because it's a bit quieter in the office. So I'll get on with those things where I'm not distracted much. And then I head home. I get home at about 10, 10.30. Um, if I'm home earlier, I'll come home, read stories to the kids. Otherwise, when I get home, I eat. And it's not really good to be eating that late. Unfortunately, I need to do something about that, but it just so happens I do. So I'll have dinner pretty late. And then I don't want to go straight to bed because I'm so much of energy, you know, dealing with some of the stuff in the office, a lot of my mind. So I watch a bit of TV, maybe YouTube, uh, some videos, a TV show, and then I'll try and unwind, uh, maybe do a couple of emails before I go to bed, and of course, plan my day for the next day, which is um, all the action points I need to get done. And that's pretty much it, I go to sleep. So I hope you found that useful, but of course, everyone's day is different. My day won't work for everyone else. You've got to figure out where you're most productive. Is it in the mornings? Is it in the evenings? You know, how do you want to plan your meetings? So all that needs to be factored, whether you work out in the morning or in the night, that will vary. So you need to customize it to what works most efficiently and productively to you. Hope you enjoyed that. Please subscribe if you did. See you soon.